Hey guys, how's it going? Elliot here again. It's been a little while since I've done a uh, let's refurb video, so I thought why not let's do one with a packet from our favourite guys at Japan for you. Um, but this one was a pretty good deal, I think. Um, it's a you might be able to see from here already. Some people refer to it as the uh, Game Boy Pocket Grey or something like that, I think. Um, but this is, as far as I'm aware, the uh, classic edition. Now, they wrap stuff up really, really well in Japan for you, if you haven't already noticed. Sometimes a little bit too well, it's kind of hard to get into it. Um, if I can't refurbish it or repair it, uh, what I'll probably end up doing is just uh, replacing the boards. I've got a uh, another Game Boy Pocket board that I know works. So uh, yeah, here it is. It's quite nice condition. It's got a little bit of dirt on it. Um, one thing to quickly check there is it's got some corrosion. Uh, it has got a little bit of corrosion. So if we give that a clean, that might get it working again. Um, but we'll have to crack it open and see what's actually uh, inside. I'll get some batteries and we'll see if we get any life at all. So as I said, I have got a uh, spare Game Boy Pocket board and it's the original one without the uh, the LED indicator, so if this doesn't work, then um, I'll just replace the board with that. But uh, yeah, we'll have a look and see. Are we going to get any sort of life from it at all? Oh! There we go. So it's absolutely fine. Uh, oh, I didn't hear the speaker there. Hang on, let's get a game. So we'll take our trusted Zelda DX and turn it on again. It doesn't seem to have any lines on the screen, which is always a blooming good sign. And I definitely can't hear anything from the speaker. So we'll have to look. And none of the buttons work. So that's also a bit of an issue, which means there's probably quite a lot of corrosion going on inside. tell you how surprised I am that this thing still actually uh, powers on although it's very clear to me now uh, why some of the buttons aren't working um, so yeah well I'll give this board a clean up and see what I can do but realistically I think replacing the board is the best option Honestly, the best thing in this instance is literally just to replace the board. Um, it's it's so corroded to the point that we're probably never going to get sound from this speaker ever again unless we had to jump a serious amount of cables. Um, I will be replacing the battery terminal, the other one. Uh, the buttons just need a nice clean up and uh, so does the, the case. So I'm going to go ahead and chuck everything in the sink, clean it all up, come back and we'll put everything back together with a nice board in. So this is the uh, replacement board that I'm going to be using. Uh, this came out of a black Game Boy Pocket. I'm going to plug everything in just to make sure that it still works. Yeah. 
So the speaker on this one works absolutely fine, as you should be able to hear. The screen is absolutely perfect, which is great. The buttons seem to work absolutely fine. There we go. Happy days. Looks absolutely great as well. And this was really cheap. It was about £20, which is uh, really, really good for one of these. And the stickers on the back are absolutely immaculate. I actually didn't end up putting it in the sink. I just cleaned it by hand. Uh, cleaned out all the rust that was in the... Uh, the, the the port down there so as you can see it's all nice and clean i also went ahead and got a new screw to put in there so i'm going to go ahead and quickly finish off putting this back together and then we'll uh test it a little bit more in depth and make sure everything works fine